Hello folks, welcome back to the channel where Twitch is imitating life. It is a gray gloomy day in Dartmouth, in Nova Scotia, and it is a gray gloomy day in Minecraft, at least until I can sleep. Uh, we're here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill, which is the, the giant town in the background. And we are going to pick up where we left off on this cozy little cottage along the north road. And this is my favorite stage of a build. We did the concept of it, we blocked out the area, we finished up the block palette on the outside and the inside last stream and added in some details. And now I just have to execute. And this is the fun part where you can kind of just go through taking the blocks that you decided on the roof for last time, make sure you do the whole roof all the way around, bring all the details down, and then start to lean into whatever ideas hit you. You know, we have to do the back garden, we have to make the back fence feel a little bit better maybe we'll bring some of the jungle wood down here into this but we'll figure it out and it's something that i think is going to be really really fun so it's going to be a pretty chill stream i hope you're up for that we have not obviously done anything with our inventory since last time we logged in mind trip media with 100 bits thanks very much for the support the real pickle welcome in and makins 260 welcome in hope everyone's having a good day got cj blast I'm sure Sweet Sandy is kicking around here somewhere. Hunter Triple Five is also lurking in the background. Appreciate the lurks, folks. Always a fun way to spend the day. Super fast. Good to see you. Janoy. Three months saying hi, Joel, and chat. Hi, back is the appropriate response, I would say. On a holiday this week, so vaguely got one eye on the stream. Appreciate you being here on your holiday, Hunter. That's awesome. Where are you on holiday, if you don't mind sharing? Don't have to be specific. Did you, or is it, is it a staycation? Or are you doing other things? So this is what it looks like in the daylight, which is much nicer. It has a nice warm hue to it. I like the warmth of this cottage overall. Surprisingly, all of the, the warm tones in the walls and the supports and the roof offset the cool tone in the andesite uh, foundation, but it still feels pretty good. I think it still works. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up the roof, which means I'm gonna switch out some stuff in my inventory that I don't need, uh, which includes this and probably switching off the shaders just because that would be a little bit much. All right, um, barrels. Don't think we need the doors anymore. Keep the signs. More mud. Nope. There we go. That goes there. I don't think we need dark oak. Mushroom block. Oh, I never updated that data pack. That's right. I think that's all we needed in the roof, right? Trapdoors. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Uh, gates. Gates, 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 gates. Uh, I've got those. I know there's one of those that has to go on the other side here. Love the spawn chunks. Let's do it every day. That's awesome. Thanks very much. Glad you like it. I think I like that support there. I think that makes sense. It's a little different. 
I like a little asymmetry in my builds. Might as well go around the bottom here and see what changes need to be made. Uh, we'll have to change the chimney before I do the back. Okay, that's fair. Guess we need to get up here. Eventually, you will run out of the spawn chunks to listen to because it is only a weekly podcast. All right, so I do like to be careful with the trapdoors. I do like that, so we'll probably keep that over here. Where are these? Doesn't really matter which they are. Let's say that's going to stay. This is going to switch. Right? No, this is going to go down. So then this is going to be that. Yes. Good. Okay. And actually, let's... Um, I could change that. I don't know if I want to change that. Because if I change that to a light colored block, then it's going to be like that inside. And we've, well, we've done that before. It does feel very strange right there. Weirdly, it looks okay over here. Maybe it's because of the light. Either way, I think we'll switch that back to mushroom because we can't see the side of it. That doesn't matter. Uh, however, we do want to add, I think maybe here. Oh, do I want to try it? Maybe I want to add the light in there. Although, I don't know if I can do that. No, I can't do the skylight there because this is going to be there. And that's just going to create another of the same issue. Again, weirdly, it looks okay there, but it looked terrible there. Strange. Anyway, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Does this have to stay there? We could potentially cover it up on top, which would make this look nicer inside. Uh, no. Never mind. I will, however, switch that, I think. This is where thinking about how things look inside and outside really makes a difference. That's kind of cool. Is this the outside? Yes. Thanks, Real Pickle. Glad you like it. Uh, anything else we can do over here? Just maybe... Wonder if this could look better as jungle. I think I wanted to keep this all mud. So that means I'm probably going to switch this to a jungle block. Unless I also did that with mud.
we can get a little bit more depth happening here if we switch these just a little bit more interesting to look at I'll change this one. I guess we'll make it the same. I wasn't going to make it the same, but we'll make it the same. I'll just try to make the other choices different so it's not a complete mirror of everything. That little block, and then the two at the back. So I'll leave this as mud, and then maybe we'll do that one. Yeah, I'll go up to the top. It looks okay. Need to see it in the daylight, really. Obu, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Cosmic Dancer subscribing 72 months. That's amazing. Just dropping in to drop this off. Well, thanks very much, Cosmic. Appreciate it. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to you know, make some changes here to the to the textures, but I'm trying not not to copy what I've done on the other side here. So I'm trying to do something slightly different. And I think that's okay. I think that works. I really want to do something down here. Like, I almost want to have something like that, except for it doesn't really work the way that I want. So, like, I want to do something there, but obviously I can't do it in the block space. So, I'm wondering if we end up being able to use... I don't want to make any if I don't need them. Buttons. True Purple. Subscribing in Tier 1. Thanks so much, True Purple. 66 months. Some big numbers, folks. That's amazing. I really appreciate that. I don't know if this is going to look good. Yeah, it's a little bit too, too much. So we might want to do something like that. It might be worth it to try stone buttons. That could be fun. It also might make it look too ornate. That's the other thing I don't want it to be. I want it to be cozy and kind of functional. So we did something similar over here. I don't want to use ladders. What other things can we layer on top of of um, acacia logs? Not so much there. I really don't like glow like, and that's not a thing I want to use. It's really only trapdoors that are the thing, right? Orange is probably too much. Mm. Yeah, tricky. Maybe what we need down here is a flower box instead. Maybe that'll help balance things out. So maybe we'll end up doing something more like this.
Yeah, that might help. And that'll bring some stuff up to there, maybe. Maybe we don't do it the whole way. Maybe we just do a little asymmetry here. Or maybe we just do the one. And then we make a bush. That could be a bush. Delara subscribing at tier one. That's, wow. That's like, hold on. One, two, three, four subscriptions plus a hype train. I think the hype train was brought in by, um, actually Delara. Delara would have started the hype train. Thanks so much, Delara. That's amazing. Has it really been that long? Asks Delara. Still doesn't feel that long. Well, that's a nice feeling. I'm glad that it doesn't feel like forever. That'd be a weird thing. It's like, Gah, I've been subscribed to Joel for so long. It's so tedious. <laughs> be a really weird thing to share. Uh, like, sort of like that. Yep, I guess that's good. Oh, I see. Hold on. Maybe we'll switch this. I'm definitely going to have to mess around with stuff inside. I'm sure I've screwed up a few things. Okay, so then over here, I'm going to mirror, I think, what we have on the other side. So we'll get rid of this. This can just stay the way that it is. That's probably going to change the way that it looks inside. And I don't know if I want to... Right, if I connect this, it feels too long, I think. I'm going to give it a try. Oh no, that's okay. A lot of trial and error at this stage, which is fun. Another minute and a half left on that level one hype train. Valder coming in with a very big sticker. Thanks very much, Valder. See, the house is coming along. Yeah, the little cottage is doing its thing. Valder with 100 bits saying, love it, love the build. Thanks very much. So we have jungle, mud brick, compact mud, mushroom, and strip jungle for this palette. Uh, yeah, so the roof is... Um, Packed mud, brown mushroom block, stripped jungle, jungle planks, and mud bricks. I think that's it. And among like, you know, pressure plates and signs and some of the other jungle templates and trapdoors and stuff. But the main the main palettes, those are the colors. Those are the, the block types we're working with today. I am absolutely flipping all of the things as I walk across these, but that's fine. Yeah, the, the roof needed some, some lighter colors. We discussed this yesterday on stream. 
we needed some lighter colors. Jaynoy is gifting a tier one sub to the community. The first gift sub on the channel. Thanks very much, Jaynoy. That's amazing. And that went to Mosaic Dream. Mosaic, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. Join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. That's a level two hype train. Another four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Thanks so much, Jaynoy. Swoop it in to save the day. So this is going to go here, like that, and like that. I am out of trapdoors. You've never heard me say that before. You are shaken, I'm sure. I would say that I probably made too many jungle trapdoors by mistake. <laughs> Judging by the fact that I have a spare stack, I would say that was probably a misclick. <laughs> and I was just like, well, at least we have spares. <laughs> so it looks very busy from up here. I can't say that it's going to be the coolest build to look at from the top. It's a little samey, but most of the time you're going to be viewing the build from down here. Uh, I could, I could see what these would all look like if they were trapdoors. Maybe that'll help it be a little bit different. You see more of a lip with the, um, trapdoor instead of the pressure plate did i say pre i said i think i said tra trapdoor i meant pressure plate it does feel a little bit more roof like with the pressure plate i know this is silly to make a decision from up there but maybe this is the way to go That's the case. Maybe we skip this one. Whoa. So now there's going to be a lot more jungle, but that seems to still be looking okay. That's a little bit bright. Problem solved. The Vampire Maid, I'm doing well, thank you. <clears throat> two minutes left on that level two hype train. It's a 100 bits tier one sub or prime gaming sub if anybody wants to jump in. You get permanent access to a new emote from Twitch if you don't already have them all. And you get access to the Discord for a month if you use a prime sub or a uh, tier one sub. Alternatively, if you are looking to just join this Discord and that's the only thing you're you're looking to do and um, participate in the community, then you can go to patreon.com and it's uh, it's a much more affordable over there too if you're on a budget. I really appreciate the, the fact that some people are tightening the bootstraps these days. So I think before I attempt this um, gutter line, I guess we'll work on the chimney before I get too far. Although I feel like I need to switch a couple of these blocks around. Should that be a jungle as well? If not a jungle, maybe a mushroom block. Just realizing that now. Probably jungle. Yeah, because it won't affect the inside. Oh, because we've also got that weird thing that happens with these blocks. They always change direction on one side, but not all the sides. Does anybody realize that, like, just how complicated that is? Like, you can, you can do it with, I think you can do it with the regular wood blocks, I think. Maybe they all do this. But I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's just the all over blocks. 
No. So if I push down, both sides go up. If I push down, both sides go horizontal. But if I go to sideways, oh no, they do it. Okay. So if it's not then it's if it's not vertical, then the sides are different. And I wish they were not. I wish it would be consistent. I really wish you could place all over wood logs the same way that you can pr place things like barrels. That is the end of the hype train. Elkhorn 95 with 100 bits. Thanks very much. Uh, I got an animated eating all the things emote, I guess. Interesting. So I've made a little bit of a checkerboard pattern, which I don't like. So across the bottom here, it's, it's alternating and I want to eliminate that. So I think I'll do... I'm going to change, maybe I'll switch that back. I do really like the trap doors going into the mud, packed mud though. Mm. I'm going to change that one, I think. How does everything look inside? No harm, no foul. Okay, I think... I think that's everything. So now to work on the... Um, kind of like the gutter line, the bi bo bottom here. Show those words. Um, I'm going to do the chimney first, I think. And I, I don't want to make the chimney out of bricks, out of mud bricks, because I think that's a little bit too obvious. So I'd like to do probably a lot more andesite and cobble. Maybe a little bit of tough. Cracked bricks. And how do I normally do the tops of these? Cobble and the site. That's probably a good way to approach it. What did I do on this one? Well, that one's got a smokestack coming up. So straight up, I want to see whether this is already the right height. We might want to make it a little bit taller. Once I add this topper. Let's back up a little bit, see what's up. The Vampire Maid, I've been back and watching you build up the whole Westville from the VODs on YouTube. Oh, thanks very much. That's cool. Uh, it's a good thing I have uh, that on the background while I'm building up my Medieval City spawn in my friend's world. Oh, that's cool. You're doing a Medieval City and then you're watching my Medieval City. That's great. I would say that's about right. I don't think I want that any taller, right? I think that's probably the perfect height. Nice silhouette. Very distinctly a chimney. Doesn't compete with the other things behind it. I think we're pretty good. I'm glad I don't have to change that. I think it reads as a chimney pretty much immediately. I will, however, get rid of this block and replace it with one of these. And I want to do something, I think, to the 
probably to the right here. So this is probably going to be stair there, cracked there, and then probably into sight cobble. Ooh, too many textures. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think maybe we can just do andesite on the top there. Yeah, I want I really want andesite and tuff to look good together, but they they don't. They really don't. I'm wondering if we can add a little flourish to this, either with spruce or jungle. Not that it would, there would be wood on a chimney. That's usually not a good idea. Almost want to have maybe we can do stairs here. Sort of make it look like it's part of the structure. I kind of like that actually. And it creates a nice barrier between the tough and the brick there. Do I want to go cobble down here? Maybe we flip those. Obviously, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any tough slabs or stairs yet because we're not on 1.21. Demray, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I need stairs and more inventory space. Don't really need those right now, do I? Vampire made 1 a.m. Holy smokes. Well, thanks very much for coming by so late. And uh, have a good night. Appreciate it. And thanks for watching the VODs on YouTube. For folks that don't know, this entire build is all categorized and recorded and put on YouTube at Joel Duggan VODs. That feels kind of small. I think we might have to do something higher. With a slab, maybe? This is going to be the wrong color, but... Yeah. This one or probably that one. Elkhorn, we've sorted everything with mods and data packs on Infinity Cove. It's updating to 1.21 early next week. That's fantastic, Elkhorn. Can you do me a favor? Can you relay 
uh, either yourself or maybe ask mini packs to shoot me a list if there's a spreadsheet or something of the mods and and what's working because it might help me a great deal in updating the citadel and if the work is already done on infinity cove then that would be great yeah i'm not sure i'm keen on the whole checkerboard pattern too many textures again Hmm. That's not pad. I do really like the tough in there somewhere. That just feels disconnected. Hmm. I really don't know. Oh, that's better. Maybe if I put the cobble down here. Yeah, I think we'll go with that for now. The Raid, Mythically Emmy. I got it right that time. I had to say it slow. Mythically Emmy. Welcome in, Emmy. Hope you're having a good day. What were you doing on stream? Coming in with a party of five. Rage Army has followed. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Coming in with that Emmy Raid. Folks, if you want to go follow Emmy, click that heart in chat. You can go see what they were up to on stream. Probably Minecraft, but we'll, we'll hang out here for a second and see what they say. Elkhorn95 says, we keep a spreadsheet pinned in the ICC bulletin board channel, and we've been making notes about what's working and whatnot. Oh, perfect. I don't even have to hassle anybody. I can go look for myself. That's perfect. Uh, and no, the, the Infinity Cove sheet would be private to just the members. Um, but that's good. That's good to know. If people want to know what I run for mods on the server for me uh, here on the Citadel, then you can do... Uh, bang joel mo joel's mods in chat i think it's joel's mods yeah that should give you a spreadsheet it's not updated because i haven't updated to 1.21 um but it's in the process of being updated i think the last time i looked at it was early july i keep i try to keep a date in the top of the sheet as to when it's been updated emmy says i was working on buildings and villagers oh the lovely villagers is we sandy was trying to stay on track but never happens yeah no that's fair working with villagers is different Ray Jeremy, that's not a not a thing. I don't know what you're trying to say, but that's not it. Thanks, Elkhorn. Uh, let's see here. This is probably feels very right angle-y. I think we're gonna put a wood pile here. So let's put something there temporarily. I'll just do a barrel for now. All right, now that that's done, I think we keep those as stone and then we can pop in 
a little jungle wood here. And maybe a little jungle wood there. Now there's no windows there. There could be. I feel like that's probably good. Uh, otherwise, there's no windows on this side of the house at all. So we'll probably do that. It's a lot of windows, but that's fine. Do like it. Maybe we can use a different trapdoor. Nope. Hmm. That's the case. Maybe I'll move this over here. And then switch these. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Tends to work. I think I like it better open. That way we'll be able to see the garden back here. It'll work out well. Okay, wood pile's gonna go there. Uh, I don't know. I guess we should probably connect this up with a path. I need to go get some coarse dirt here. This is getting a little bit hard to keep track of. And I need a campfire too. Campfire, coarse dirt. And I think one of those. Oops. Oh, I see, Ray Jeremy. I see. Yeah, context is everything on Twitch, especially if you're new to uh, to a channel. I see what you mean, though. That's a fun. That's a fun in joke. <laughs> now that I'm now that I'm in on it. Sweet Sandy, wow. Actually, Sandy, kind of glad Cosmic is not here right now. Can you can you imagine the dripping sarcasm <laughs> that would be in the chat right now? <laughs> that would be interesting. The yep, yeah, right, Sandy, right. Don't worry, I'll hear about it in a DM later. Like, I, I will absolutely get an earful. <laughs> that, that will positively happen. Right, so this is going to go to here, I think. Um... That is probably bigger than I want it to be, but unfortunately, I don't want it to be straight line either. We can do some flowers or something there. That really reduces the amount of space we have. So this is why I didn't want to do anything fancy with the with the um, fence. 
because I think what I want to do is have enough space here that we can have a couple of garden beds and still have the fence, but we have room to nudge the fence if we need to, so we can work on that. Uh, I would probably want to do not a straight line, so... Mm, they'd probably be angled the other way, though, wouldn't they? kind of wonder what's the point of having this much space it might be worth expanding that a little bit So rough idea there. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. And we'll put this down. Hmm. It's okay, but I kind of wish there was more happening out front. I kind of wonder whether we can now get away with... Something like this. No. Actually, if we did that with spruce, it could look okay. I just want some depth here. Like, that to me is too flush, and I like that better. A mini block? That's not a bad idea, Sandy. That's not a bad idea at all. How am I out of spruce trapdoors? No, I'm not out of spruce trapdoors. Science is what I want. Um, let's go here. Oh, I didn't put any signs on the roof. Where did I put them before? Oh, I decided against... Oh, yeah, they're just in the front. Yeah, I guess they would look a little bit weird back here. I was thinking maybe up here. No. Nope. Looks like wings. Uh, a mini block could work well there. You're right. I do like that kind of happy accident, though. And I like this, but I think I may want that to be green. And maybe we'll put something like that there. Because again, depth change. So we can get rid of this. Need some moss blocks.
So I was going to leave this open rather than actually put a gate on it. I think that could be more fun. And I thought maybe we could put some mini blocks on the top there. Really though, what I should check is to see if I want to use spruce or if it might be more fun to use uh, jungle. It doesn't really go really well with the spruce, unfortunately. And if I go sideways with it, it'll have one direction going the correct way and then the other one not. Uh, we could also try oak. Specifically this kind, so it's gonna go the direction that we want. I think that looks a little bit more rustic. Especially, I need more signs. Oh no, I've got signs here. Hmm, maybe not. We don't have to do them all wood either. We could start to work in a couple of bushes here. I think it might be fun to push this around into a corner and then have like a bush here acting as a barrier as well because i was worried about what to do with the back of this emmy thanks again so much for dropping off the raid i appreciate that you gotta go uh, i know that after i stream i generally have to take a computer break too but thank you so much for bringing your people by folks again uh go check out mythically emmy felt the way that you think uh and uh follow them on twitch turing 79 good to see you good to see you I hear that Infinity Cove is updated into 1.21 next week. I'm sure you're all excited. Sweet Sandy, thanks for thank you for being awesome. Nestily, welcome in. Yeah, I think I prefer the oak. And I'm gonna have to switch gears here to something a little bit more. Um, I need more greenery in my inventory, I think. And here... I feel like maybe... This can go... Yeah, maybe expand this as well. So here would be very easy to just run this right up against the hillside. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do tall bits like that. That's kind of cool. Especially if we switch it out for the other log. Feels more gate-like. And then this side, we can leave it more open. Good times ahead, says Turing 79. Awesome. For folks wondering what we've been thinking about or talking about, it is the um, Infinity Cove, which is my patron server. So at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, you can support at, I think it's $10 a month Canadian and no, US, sorry. Uh, and you get access to an entire server that's been up for as of August something, August 1st. I think it's six years. I think it's one year less than the Citadel. Elkhorn, do you know? 
I should have this memorized. Sweet Sandy is saying, game time passed on the hour. Break time. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. Let me put some stuff away here. I think we're done with the mud. Keep the jungle stuff in case I want it. Where do I keep the mushroom blocks? Right. All right, I'll work out the other stuff I need after the break. If you're new to the stream, I generally step away from the computer about once an hour. Gives me a chance to zap the coffee, grab another glass of water, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, I'll be back in five or six minutes. I might take a couple of extra minutes right now, but I'll be back in just a few. Hold on to your nuggets.
Sorry about the extra weight, folks. Busy times. Busy times. It's been a good summer, though. All right, where were we? First, sleep, because it's getting dark. And I need more greenery, I think. And what are we dealing with here? I think probably using the, this kind of palette would be probably be the thing that makes the most sense. So, Keisha, Azalea. I do have some thoughts about some flowering Azalea, which would be cool. Moss carpet. And probably some grass. I might have to grow a jungle tree here. That might not be a bad idea. How are we doing for vines? Yeah, you know, chopping down a jungle tree might be a good idea here. Let's, um, let's do one of those quickly. Do I have the saplings? Oh, I've got lots. Create a barrier and then just... That should do. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter where. They don't change anything. I should have brought something better to take the leaves down with, though. That was dumb. Didn't have my hoe on me. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. Being fancy. I just forgot entirely that I need a better tool. Well, that's a pretty pitiful jungle tree. Jeez. Could have done a lot better than that. Oh, right. We're supposed to do the vines first, aren't we? And that's also not a silk touch. I am failing left, right, and center here. There we go. Let's get the vines first, I guess. I know how to play this game. Honest. That's a weird offshoot. Gets to the point where it's just a pain in the butt for diminishing returns. You know, I think these are the better tree for vines. I know we tried mangrove last time, but I think that this is definitely the better choice. In terms of ease, I think that's a lot more straightforward to get your vines from jungle trees. Mostly what I wanted to do was the leaves.
think we're good now. Oh, well. Almost. You know, unless you're doing a project where you need an absolute ton of materials from trees, it's probably faster to just kind of bone meal one and rip it down as you need. Okay, I think I've got all the things I need now. So let's just put some of the jungle stuff away. That. Almost another stack of vines. That's good. Uh, what do I not have room for? I don't need the bone meal or the ender pearl. Unfortunately, we have a full inventory and I would like that to not be the case. I guess we can probably get rid of all the jungle wood. We don't really need that right now. What would you do if I died in this world? I would respawn right there. <laughs> Lost everything in the end? I would just go grab all my backup gear and then probably re-gear off stream because it's just tedious, right? If that makes sense. So I want to back up here and take a look at this hillside and see where I might want to cover things up. Yeah, and I think that because of the brown of the fence and the brown of the dirt here, I want to have a bush kind of right there. I think that's roughly where I had the idea to use the bush as the border. Yeah. So I want to go at least right here. And we'll start with some jungle, some moss. Because jungle seems to be like darker azalea. So we can rough in something like that, stuff like that there. We'll use that as a natural border and maybe even push this a little bit farther this way. So for working as that is going to be kind of like a natural back to the fence. And I think as we back up here, if we make that a little bit larger. Yeah, see right away. Now you can see the outline of the fence immediately. And it helps this stand out too. So 
that will be what we do there. And it's just going to be a matter of where we decide this post is going to be. And I think there is okay. Um, I might want to come out a little bit faster here. Yeah, I feel like maybe we need to go there. like that maybe that would make these a lot longer from something more interesting maybe we can make these on an angle hmm don't like that don't like this part. I think maybe we have to move this over. I guess I could put it at an angle, couldn't I? Oh, that's more fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. This... I feel all right. Maybe I need to move that over one. No. Hmm. I move that over there. It attaches. Unless I move it here. And come in that way. No. Oh, it's good the way I had it, I guess. Now, instead of these being at right angles, I think it might be fun here to make these on an angle. So, let's start here. Oops.
Hmm. How does this go? You think I would? I've done this before. We could probably go right up against these. Oh, then I'm going to lose the curve of the path here, though. Hmm. It's not much of an angle, is it? Maybe I should try to make them on a direct 45. That might make them more interesting. Yeah. So we'll do that over here too. Way more fun. And then maybe one more. Or do we have like a separate shape? I feel like we could have something else here, not just garden. And that way we can kind of use this to shape the fence however we want. use any trapdoors over here uh could we have done that over here i guess we could have done that here too mm. not quite as cool as i want it works up against stuff sometimes I don't know. That's a little bit tricky. The cottage has a chicken? Yeah. He doesn't seem to want to wander off. I think I like that. So that feels like a really weird shape.
Hmm. Never thought as a break from the rain, you can just use the camera to get up high enough off the ground. You can't hear the rain hitting the ground. Puts your uh, your player sound at a different level. I like that. It's just this weird corner here. I don't know why the map influences me so much, but it does. I think I'm going to try this for now. I might change my mind later, but I think I like this kind of unique way that we're using the trapdoors. It gets a little repetitive, but we might be able to break it up a little bit with some signs. Maybe I need a chicken coop. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I wanted to go get my little, um, box of mini blocks. I think it's over here. So I was thinking, probably these could look cool here. Yeah, that works. And then maybe we'll put an actual gate on the other one. I don't know if I want a dark gate or a normal spruce gate. We'll try all three. Could also be a jungle gate, maybe. Mm, no to the dark one. It's that, or we maybe use one of these and put it out like this. Or, even though I know we're using it as a window right now, can have it open like that. 
or even in. We could have it like that too. I don't mind that. It's far enough away from the window that it doesn't read as the same thing. We could even put spruce on the back of it maybe. Oh, no, not there. It'd have to be here. That's not bad. Doesn't block the player either, which is nice. I want to try one more thing. I want to see if I have a jungle gate just in case that looks better. I don't think it will. Of course, I don't have one. Yeah, doesn't look good. Okay. Glad I tried it. Get it out of the way. Oh, I put those in the wrong spot. So that's going to go up top like that. I think we'll just fill this whole thing with a bush. Maybe have one little spot. Maybe I'll get some vines too. Chicken, that is not a good way to stay alive. Maybe a little bit too much. feels very square.
wild how different the jungle and the azalea look in the inventory compared to how they look in the real world. Real world. <laughs> real world, quote unquote. In the actual video game world. And it's feeling very square. That's one of those trial and error things. It's a better from this side. So maybe it's this side I need to taper off a bit. Oh, out of moss. <laughs> Too much bush, small tree? Yeah, maybe. biome are we in right now sunflower plains this all should be looking pretty good it's probably just because it's getting dark out i have to think about lighting out front too don't let me forget the front porch light Yeah, that helps a little bit. I think I need to bring this all the way down over here, though. Even a little bit farther. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of get it to look like it goes behind and down here. I like the deeper, darker parts. Works out pretty well. I honestly think we could get away with having a little bit more depth with some roots, mangrove roots. And maybe some rooted. This is really subtle stuff and this is more for my brain than anything else so carpet bush moss we can do the same thing back here azalea Yeah, just a little bit of depth, a little bit of brown. 
don't think we need to do anything else. Maybe back here. Whoops. Yep, that works. Well, maybe not there. Weird when there's only a few of them. It's almost easier just to completely blanket the whole place. Here, I think I'll soften this up with a bush. Oh, it's kind of repetitive. Never mind. Here, though. I don't know what things are going to go in the garden. I think I'm going to go with carrots. I don't know if the orange is going to be too much. Uh, I don't think I want to do wheat because there's wheat behind it, right? There's wheat over there. So we're down to like carrots or I thought maybe azalea bushes like berries. But I feel like that kind of clashes a bit. So don't think that's the case. Um, potatoes are going to be very green. What are our options? We've got beetroot, which would... Uh, it's very bright. We've got carrots, which are a little bit more in the right. I'm looking at the roof compared to like the green and the orange. And then we've got, I mean, I don't want to do pitcher plants or lilacs. That's not, that's a no. No pumpkins. This is more carrots. There's some potatoes. Probably potatoes. I mean, we could also make something up too. Yeah, let's try potatoes. Probably try a little bit of each and just see what we get. Berry bushes are not going to look good. Maybe we can intermingle one of the bush blocks with potatoes. 
I'm not sure one of these would look good. Maybe mangrove? Again, my inventory is just painfully full. I guess I don't need the scaffolding anymore. Barrels, probably not. I need some of this stuff. So that's mangrove, jungle, acacia. I don't think birch, maybe oak. Potatoes, bone meal. You use dead bush and put a berry bush on top of it. Um, yeah, I just, I don't want anything that's that tall. I don't want to obscure. I really like this dark brown and then the and the wheat behind it. So anything too tall is going to jump into that. I think where my brain was thinking. And they don't all have to be the same, but it would make sense if they were sort of the same. Um, maybe we'll do like a little patch of carrots here. No, don't eat those. So what I'm thinking here could be fun is if I go down here, and then let's just gamble and say mangrove. It might be too dark. Well, you know what? Let's just put down one of each. And we'll see which one matches the best. I'm curious if this is going to look good at all. Because I've got a custom potato texture. That might be a little bit too narrow. It's also getting dark. I can't really tell. Hero Brian like glowing eyes. Where? Is there an Enderman around? I don't see anybody. In my inventory? Sure. Oh, it's the glasses on the model. Yeah, I guess the, the bottom of the glasses kind of catches it. Glasses in Minecraft are very big and chunky. So I would say it's probably the jungle. It's not the mangrove. The mangrove does not look good. Actually, it might be the uh, oak leaves. And I might not want to do it all the way back here. Maybe we'll take this one out. I also want to get a different texture. Hmm. 
No. This one. Now, if I was to put some water here, I wonder if that would look good. I wonder if I'd like to have a darker soil. Let's just grab a bucket of water. We'll put one in temporarily and see if it looks good. Uh, let's just put it here for now. Does look kind of funny in a row, doesn't it? Maybe we get rid of this one. I think I do like the darker soil, so maybe we'll hide that water somewhere. We could probably hide it underneath that carpet, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. Too bad the jungle is the one that looks the best because it's the one that we use in the background too. Is there anything that's closer to that color? Do we think? What blocks are really red like that? Maybe some terracotta? Hmm, maybe. The shulker box spreads. Brown terracotta. Definitely more red. Gray terracotta. Oh, definitely that one. Compost, but they don't have a top. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there doesn't have to be something here either. That's closer. Can't think of anything else that's quite that color other than like planks, you know, like. Dark oak planks would be that saturated. It's a little different. Maybe we'll, um, how can I hide this somewhere? I mean, I can put it underneath here and it would get some of the way, like four blocks. And I could hide it. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky. I guess I'm gonna have to have that carpet somewhere, aren't I? What if the carpet was here?
Nope. No. Can I do it on this? No. So I have to do steps. We have to take certain steps. So we'll do water, something to place the carpet up against, carpet, and then unfortunately when we do the sides like that, we will end up exposing the water a little bit, but I don't think there's any way around that. Yeah. Sweet Sandy, thank you for the heads up. Oh, where can we hide the water? I mean, I can put it underneath here and it'll get one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I mean, it'll get most of it. Two, three, four. We could probably hide two buckets of water and see if that covers everything. All right, let's try that. Thanks for the heads up, Sandy. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more done, I think. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So let's just cover all of our bases here. So there won't be any water noises. Inventory pain is real. Now, if I get rid of this, we should have most of the coverage. I really wish that the buckets would automatically stack back up. It's kind of weird that they don't. Maybe we could do mangrove roots there. That could be interesting. Waterlogged bush. Hmm. And you'll still be able to see through the bush on top though. I'm trying to hide the blue is, is what I'm trying to do. Not quite the right brown. Makes for a very muddy backyard, unfortunately.
That worked, though. They're all saturated, so that's good. Under the moss carpet, if the green top edge of the bush hides the water. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, there's a chance. Um, would that... Under the moss carpet... I guess then we have to just fill this in with. Yeah, not quite. Good call. Like it would depend, I think, on the side. But good attempt, I think. I don't mind that. It's not the end of the world. It's a little strange. Don't know if I want to put a bush here. I think these need to be coarse dirt. And I guess we could just do... I don't want to do potatoes again because it's going to look like this bush is the same thing. I don't mind the carrots. They're a little bright. We could try some beetroot. Might as well. At least then we'll know which ones stand out as not our favorites, right? And there's nothing else we can really put there. Everything else is going to grow into a bigger tree. I'm really sure that these are just going to be the wrong color. Yeah. It's not my favorite. Uh, what do I want to put there? Probably more moss. Oh. More bone meal required. Hey, McScrew Gun, how's it going? I don't see this going very well with any of the greens. And try this maybe. It's not terrible. I don't like this back here. 
It's very, very bright. What if we went the other way around? What if we had the bushes on the outside? Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? I guess we could also just try having two different kinds of crops together. I put the potatoes back. Crap. I never tried to mix things up like this before. That's that sort of helps, although it looks very similar to what we've got next door, I guess. Whoops. That sort of works. It almost looks like the beetroot grows into that. Maybe. The beetroot does sort of make the potatoes look a little bit different than their neighbors. I think I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, we also need to try to saturate this ground. So another bucket of water underneath here, I think. What can I get rid of? I guess the bushes. I find more often lately, I end up letting my hunger go all the way down and then I'm walking around slowly feeling frustrated and just like, what, what is going on? Why am I not getting things done as fast as I need to? And I realize that my character is starving. So that'll do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, that should get everybody. Yeah. I wonder if it would be worth it to do the same thing in this row. Have a couple of the flowering azaleas and a beetroot somewhere else. Like maybe in the middle. Like you planned it this whole time, I know, right? It's it's the kind of thing where like game knowledge really does come in handy after a while. You realize, okay, it's not it's not completely useless that I know this stuff. You know? 
Yeah, you know, I think we'll try. Put this here. Obviously, I'm low on um, bone meal again. You know you're feeling the inventory crunch when, like, you're full, but also you've got things in both of your hands. It just feels so claustrophobic. Yeah, it's subtle, but I think it helps tie them together. I also like that the azalea, flowering azalea bushes here differentiate what's happening down here in the garden to this overgrown thing at the back here. I'm wondering if it might be good to just get rid of this one and go with grass. Yeah, that could be good. Maybe two tall grass. Maybe we'll try a fern back there. This is where the nitty gritty is starting to come in. I'm gonna have to step away and not, not get too carried away. Because I'm obviously not going to be able to finish this whole thing today. Thought I was, but I am not. Yeah, it's better. Oh, now decision. Do we make them all the same or do we leave the carrots? And also, what do we do with this space here? I feel like this could be used for something useful. Like, I don't know, some sort of barrel. That's gonna look too much like the things next to the fences, so. Maybe a couple little beehives, maybe? Do something like that. They normally good, look good on stripped birch. I think that could be good. Maybe right there. This is where my brain just kind of goes into overdrive. I just, I need some different tones in here. Do we not have any beehives? I guess I don't. Um, Oh, what do I want? Uh, beehives. That's going to be something I make. Right. Just so I don't copy what I did before, let's go take a look at the only other place I can think of that I have beehives. Oh, they're on scaffolding. Okay. Glad I looked over here because the barrel would be interesting. Ooh, I like that. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not going to use scaffolding. I think I'm going to put them on like a solid, solid thing. Oh, this might make them too high. Yeah, that's kind of tall. That is exactly what I don't want. Crap. I guess I could put them on the ground. Maybe we just need the one. Maybe a beehive and a barrel? Hmm. Or a beehive and a composter. Sweet Sandy, you'd mentioned that the composters are the right kind of red to go with what we've been up to. That might be a good way to look at this too. Maybe we just switch the positions. Put the beehives a little bit closer to the flowers. Maybe we'll have it face this way. Yeah, I like that vibe. That's good. I can maybe even separate them. Actually, you know what? I think that that's better. And then we can have a path here. And of course, I'm running out of course dirt. Now it just needs some bees. Well, I've got lots of those. That won't be a problem. Maybe I should switch this out. I'll worry about texturing the path later. pretty good so we're not quite done we still have some exterior details I want to make a, a pass at this fence uh, obviously we have not done all the details inside yet we've got the basics but I've not put down any mini blocks or there's nothing hanging on the walls or anything like that and I haven't really worked oh I didn't do the front garden either uh, I guess yeah I'd also have to think about this I'm not sure about these trap doors down here I think I might want to change that up a little bit and for consistency, I think I might want to go with a gate like that. Because that's what we have back there. And put a sign on it. Was it spruce? 
It whispers. So that helps a little bit. And yeah, I guess we keep those. I'm gonna actually get a, do I have a, if I have a lead, I think I got a lead the other day from a wandering trader that stopped by. Oh, maybe I didn't keep it. I know I have them somewhere. I think it's way back in the keep. It's all right. I'll do the bees another time. I'll do the bees another time. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes in these spare shulkers, I end up with leads because of the wandering trader. But I think that's looking really cool. And I think one of the things that you can use to see if you've done a good job with randomizing your texture and having it look pretty uniform, I find this map mod really, really handy. I mean, look at the roof of the house. It's got a couple of highlights, but it feels very much kind of uniform in its overall tone in the same way that this one does. Everything's a little bit more organized in the town, a lot more straight lines. But out here, there's a lot more kind of like texture happening. And I really think we did okay with that. I like that you can clearly see that there's a garden out back. And if I did my job right, hold on, let's put on the fancy cam. Now the bushes are going to highlight a little bit, but you 100% can see the fence now. Um, I might want to add a couple more bushes over here. I think I'm going to do the same sort of thing. This bush, we're just going to make a smaller one kind of like right there. That'll work. This also feels a little bit straight. I think I might want to curve this and have it come up to here. That actually works out pretty well with the fancy camera. Yeah, I like it. So most of the work that we did today was out back. I think that we, we did finish the roof in a way that appeals to me. I think that looks good. Chimney is good. I really like this. This was a happy accident. The stairs into the trap doors and then back up again. But I think it really looks like we're using the chimney to help support the, the building, which is cool. Again, very plain and will very much need a street light. Uh, probably, I would imagine right here where that's likely going to go. Probably right about there. And we have not done anything over here. So this is probably going to end up being some sort of bush. And then we'll probably put some sort of flowers in here have to see we shall have to see cool so I'll worry about the path textures the garden path textures uh, what's happening over there worry about all that next time it's still very plain but I do like it uh, maybe a pink flower imagine that Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's just refresh to see who's live here. We've got... Pixarus is live, but he's playing Elden Ring. We have not raided Megabyte in a really long time. So I'm going to send you all over to Megabyte. She's lovely. I think you'll have a very good time. Adult language warning, because she's an adult, but um, she's um, funny, not vulgar. I think you will enjoy... Uh, thanks so much for hanging out, folks. If you want to follow me on social media, very easy to find, Joel Duggan. I also do two podcasts, the Citadel Cafe, as well as the Spawn Chunks. The Spawn Chunks, of course, is all about Minecraft. The Citadel Cafe is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. 
YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. They are available everywhere for free. If you would like to support this channel, as so many of you did today, you can use a Prime sub, a Tier 1 sub, or check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It is one of the best ways to support your favorite creators. It's also cheaper. So if you only want to spend a couple of bucks and keep me streaming, then check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And uh, we'll be back Friday tomorrow is going to be Lego. We're building this in Lego, the front gate of West Hill. That designed by Grandpa Crafter and sent in to me because they are fantastic and generous and lovely. And it's a lot of fun. And then on Saturday, we'll be back probably to wrap this build up. I think I'd like to finish this up this weekend. So that is the goal. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.